You might be a newer collector and all you hear people talking about is treasure hunts and super treasure hunts, but you're not finding them. So I'm going to talk about it in this race cruise presentation. So first off, what are treasure hunts? Treasure hunts are just a series just like any other series. You have your race team series, you have the new model series, you have heat fleet series, whatever series, it's just another series. The difference is those series cars can have more than one in a case. Treasure hunts are more limited. They're not even going to be in every case. Not only that, if there's a treasure hunt, let's just say ABC treasure hunt, okay? Or let's say 57 Chevy, just to pick one. If there's a 57 Chevy treasure hunt, it's not going to be in every case. And even if, if it's in there, it's only going to be one, but it's not limited by any means. Um, what is a super treasure hunt? It's just a superized version of a car that is even more limited. In my estimations, they're only in like three out of every 15 cases, okay? Because I've been doing case unboxings for two years. So it's only like super treasure hunts only in three out of 15 cases. Basics, I'm gonna guess about 12, 13, 14 out of 15. You know, they're usually in the case, but it's not guaranteed. I'm just letting you know. So even if you go to a store and they just stocked it and there's no treasure hunts, there might not have been a treasure hunt. They're not in every case. So how do you find a treasure hunt? Okay, first off, if you go to the store every day in the afternoon, but the store stocks in the morning at 8 o'clock, you can't expect a treasure hunt to sit on the pigs all day until when you just happen to show up in the afternoon. So how do you find a treasure hunt? You got to find out when the stores stock. Okay, if they stock in the afternoon, you want to be there in the afternoon. If they stock overnight, you want to be there in the morning. If they stock, if they don't stock on the weekends, like me, my family would like to go to Target like a Saturday evening. I'm not going to find a treasure hunt because look at all the people that have been there all day, okay? Especially if I go in the evening. I'm not going to find a treasure hunt because they're gone by then, right? And typically they don't stock in the evenings. So if you want to find a treasure hunt, you got to know when the store stock and that's when you want to be there. Now let's say you know the store stock overnight and you go in the morning. You're, <laughs> the, the funny term is door warmer. That's what we used to call it. You stand there at 8 o'clock in the morning waiting for the doors to open, so you're warming the door. <laughs> you guys are warming the door. It used to be really bad back in 98 to 2000. A lot of people. Uh, I don't see it too much nowadays, uh, but to be honest, I'm not there at 8 a.m. anyways. So uh, if they stock overnight, you want to be there at 8 a.m. Now, if they do stock overnight, there's probably going to be other collectors there. You strike up a conversation, see if anybody's finding a treasure in it. If you're going there for two, three, and four months and nobody ever finds a treasure hunt in the morning, you have a bad store. It means that somebody's taken the treasure hunt cars before the doors open. Okay, that's if you know that they stock overnight. Let's say you were there the night before and then you go in the morning and no cars at night come in, cars are all pig, and then month after month, no treasure hunts. Okay, you know you have a bad store. You have somebody, an employee in the store, or somebody. Sometimes it's a cleaning crew, okay? They go, they let, let people buy cars before the doors, and maybe it's a cleaning crew. Or, or, or maybe the stockers are the cleaning crew, they're cleaning the pegs. But on that note, so if you've been there for months and then you talk with other collectors and you find out that you'll never find a treasure out there, find somewhere else to shop, right? Uh, it's just the way it is. But I don't, personally, I don't put too much emphasis on treasure hunts. And if you've been around collectors who've been collecting a lot of years, a lot of them could care less. Are they cool to find? Yeah, of course it's fun to find one because you know they're more limited. But some of them aren't even... Fankster was a treasure hunt? You know, I couldn't believe it on Facebook or Instagram. People were showing they found 20 Fangsters. And I'm thinking, you're going to be eating those for dinners. Cause dinner, you're never going to resell it. It's a Fangster, right? Now, Supers are a different story. You find a bunch of Supers, you know, pick them up. Okay, Supers are going to be worth something because they're more limited. They're nicer. They have rubber tires. But I'm going to talk about that in a separate video. So how can you find a treasure hunt? Find out when the store stock. Be there at that general time. Find out when other, find out whether clean stores are or the dirty stores. And the other thing is it's a network. Get yourself a circle of friends. Help each other out. Okay? That's the best way. Not only that, that's why I would mention the Kmart, excuse me, Kmart Collector's Day. Because it's more of a community thing. Everybody goes to for this day and it's an event it's more of a community thing that's why i would talk about kmart collectors day on my channel 
and I never mention the Walmart remar rewards. Uh, I, I do mention Toys R Us. Good. I do mention Toys R Us though. But generally, it's about community and having a circle of friends and collectors. And I'm not saying you have to help everybody out, right? But you know what? If you give a little, there's people who will give back, and that's part of the fun of collecting. Now, personally, if you absolutely need a treasure hunt, eBay. There's eBay, okay? You just wait a couple months. When something first hits, that's when it's most expensive. And then after a while, the price is going to come down. So if you just wait three four months, sometimes not even that long, sometimes only like two months, and then just pick it off of eBay. You saved your time, saved your gas, saved your money, just whatever. Hey, my time is worth money, let me tell you. And if, if it's a basic treasure hunt, it's, uh, you know, under $5 plus shipping. It's 10 bucks. But that's if it's a basic. Um, now, super, you might pay $15, $20 if you wait for it for a couple months. But uh, I try not to emphasize uh, treasure hunts too much. I'm going to point them out in the case because I try to emphasize, emphasize try to inform you right I'm not gonna sit here and tell you every four weeks what the treasure hunt you're gonna you know why because then that's taken away from me being able to run my channel do my playset reviews other car review match there's a lot of stuff I want to do I don't want to be locked into having to tell everybody I just educate you with the information now basic treasure hunts is gonna have the circle flame logo and super treasure hunts have special paint rubber tires I'm gonna make a separate video for that this one be at the store when they stock Find out when they stock, and that's how you find treasure hunts. If it's a bad store, find another store, okay? It's not worth the frustration. Or just don't even bother about treasure hunts. That's even easier. A lot less frustration, let me tell you. Anyways, happy collecting. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.